Every morning we wake up, we are not just starting a new day, we are also given a tiny yet profound window to set the tone for the hours that follow. It's a moment most of us rush through, but what if I told you that some of the greatest thinkers of ancient times, the Stoics, believed this was the most powerful part of your day? Today I'm going to share how embracing a few simple habits each morning can dramatically shift your perspective, enhance your resilience, and deepen your enjoyment of life. Stoicism isn't just about enduring hardship, it's about transforming every ordinary day into a profound opportunity for growth and fulfillment. So, let's explore how to harness these moments right after you wake up, turning every morning into a cornerstone of a life well lived. Stay with me and let's uncover the wisdom that can make today and every day truly extraordinary. If you appreciate what we're doing here, a simple free favor I'll ask from you is to hit the subscribe button. Also, don't skip any part of the video. Consider yourself an exception. Today we're diving into something truly unique that sets us apart from the majority. Let's get started. Each morning, I encourage you to carve out a moment for some quiet contemplation. The Stoics, masters of enduring wisdom, really stressed the significance of recognizing our temporal existence. So here's what you can do. Find a peaceful corner where the hustle of the world fades into the background. Settle in, close your eyes, visualize the immense expanse of the universe. Picture the ceaseless cycle of stars being born and then dying out, galaxies swirling in their majestic dance across eons. Reflect on the rise and fall of great civilizations, the powerful natural forces shaping mountains and carving rivers through continents. This vast panorama of change and continuity is not just about the outer world, it mirrors our own lives. In the grand scheme, our time is just a blink. But oh, what a precious blink it is. This practice isn't designed to make us feel insignificant, but rather to deepen our appreciation for the moments we do have. By acknowledging the broader scale of existence, we can see our own lives in a clearer light. It helps us understand the value of each day, each interaction we have. Think about it. Knowing that our time is limited, wouldn't you want to focus more on what truly enriches your life? This reflection helps us prioritize. It helps us distinguish between what's merely urgent and what's genuinely important. Starting your day with this kind of perspective is incredibly powerful. It cuts through the noise of daily distractions and aligns us with our true priorities. You begin to see the trivialities for what they are, small, fleeting issues, not worth the stress they often provoke. More importantly, this habit cultivates a profound sense of gratitude. To wake up, to breathe, to be able to partake in the dance of life for one more day is a gift, not a given. So each morning, give yourself this gift of perspective. It will not only prepare you to meet the day with more calm and focus, but also infuse your actions with a deeper sense of purpose and fulfillment. Remember, Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotions or hardening yourself against the world. It's about embracing the full human experience with wisdom and courage. Stoicism isn't just about enduring the world stoically. It's profoundly rooted in the art of introspection, looking inward to understand ourselves better. So here's a simple yet impactful routine you can start each day with. Grab a notebook, your personal ledger of thoughts, and take a moment each morning to jot down whatever pops into your head. This could be snippets of a dream you just woke from, a lingering thought that's been with you since yesterday, or even something you're eagerly anticipating in the day ahead. The act of writing down your thoughts does something magical. It helps clear out the mental clutter. Imagine it like tidying up your room, 
Once everything unnecessary is out of the way, what you're left with is far clearer and more manageable. This is exactly what happens with your mind. Writing helps to externalize those thoughts, giving you a clearer view of your mental landscape. But let's take it a step further. Every day, once you've spilled your initial thoughts on paper, shift your focus to gratitude. List three things you're genuinely grateful for. It could be as simple as the comfort of your bed, the warmth of a morning cup of coffee, or a kind smile from a stranger. This practice of gratitude is deeply stoic. It isn't just about feeling good, it's about grounding yourself in what's positive and real in your life, fostering a resilient mindset that focuses on abundance rather than lack. However, don't stop at gratitude. Use this quiet moment of reflection to think about your actions, how they align with the stoic virtues of wisdom and courage. Ask yourself, were my actions yesterday reflective of these virtues? How can I embody them more fully today? This isn't about critiquing yourself harshly. Rather, it's about gently guiding yourself back to your core principles. It's about aligning your daily intentions with the broader, more profound values of Stoicism. Think of your journal as a tool, a companion in your journey of personal growth. It's there to capture your thoughts, yes, but also to mirror them back to you transformed into insights and intentions. Over time, these pages will not only chart your progress, but also remind you of the philosophical path you are walking. Each entry helps you build a more mindful and intentional life, deeply anchored in the wise teachings of Stoicism. So, each morning, as you pick up that pen, you're not just writing, you're sculpting your character, one word, one thought, one virtuous reflection at a time. There's a subtle but powerful distinction in Stoicism between what we aim to achieve and how we choose to live each day. Goals are great. They give us direction and a sense of achievement, but they are fundamentally about outcomes, about reaching some future state. Intentions, on the other hand, are about the present, how you want to be in the here and now, regardless of the outcomes. So, how do we shift from goal setting to intention setting? It starts with a simple yet profound question each morning. Who do I want to be today? This isn't about roles or responsibilities, but about qualities and virtues. Maybe you want to embody patience in the face of challenges, or perhaps you wish to offer compassion to those around you, including yourself. These aren't tasks to tick off a list. They're ways of being that you choose consciously, once you've identified these intentions, write them down. There's power in putting pen to paper. It makes your intentions feel more concrete, more real. But more importantly, it's a commitment you're making to yourself. This practice aligns beautifully with the stoic focus on living according to virtue. Instead of being driven by external achievements, you're guided by an internal compass. What does this look like throughout the day? Let's say you've set an intention to be more patient. This intention will subtly guide your reactions. When you find yourself in a frustrating situation, that earlier moment of reflection reminds you of your commitment. You take a breath, slow down, and respond with patience. Not because you have to, but because it's who you chose to be today. Setting intentions is fundamentally about living deliberately. Each morning, when you decide on the virtues you want to embody, you're not just planning your day, you're shaping your character. Over time, these daily intentions foster a life that's not only more aligned with stoic principles, but also more fulfilling and authentic. It's about making every day a conscious expression of your deepest values, so, as you jot down your intentions each morning, remember that you're setting the stage for a life lived with purpose and integrity. This might sound counterintuitive, 
especially in a world that often equates happiness with comfort. But here's a stoic truth, real growth, the kind that fortifies the soul and sharpens the mind, often comes from facing challenges, not avoiding them. The Stoics weren't just armchair philosophers, they practiced what they preached, using discomfort as a tool to strengthen their resilience. Think about it this way, when you choose to face something uncomfortable, you're training yourself, just like an athlete trains their body. Whether it's taking a brisk cold shower to kickstart your morning, or deciding to forego that habitual first cup of coffee, these acts are more than just physical challenges. They are reminders that comfort is not a requirement for contentment. When you step into that cold shower, it's not just about the shock to your system. It's a moment of overcoming the instinct to step back into the warm. It's a reminder that you can endure more than you often give yourself credit for. And when you skip the coffee, you're reminding yourself that your energy and drive come from within, not from external stimulants. These practices are about reinforcing your inner strength and independence. But there's a deeper layer here, tied to the Stoic philosophy. By embracing discomfort voluntarily, you're preparing yourself for the inevitable discomforts that life will throw your way. The idea is not to suffer needlessly, but to build a kind of psychological fortitude that stands firm in the face of life's challenges. It's about cultivating a mindset that finds contentment and peace, regardless of external conditions. So each morning, as you choose to embrace a small discomfort, remember that you're not just enduring a momentary challenge. You're building a foundation of resilience that will support you through much bigger storms. This daily practice is a powerful affirmation of your own strength and an essential part of living a stoic life. It teaches us to appreciate comfort when we have it, without becoming dependent on it. In this way, embracing discomfort isn't just about toughening up. It's about freeing ourselves to experience life fully, no matter what it brings. This habit is a cornerstone of not just many spiritual traditions, but also Stoic philosophy, where the emphasis is on awareness and control over one's internal state rather than external circumstances. Starting your day with mindfulness and meditation can fundamentally alter how you navigate your daily life. So, find a quiet corner in your morning sanctuary where you can sit undisturbed. Get comfortable, but stay alert and gently close your eyes. Begin by focusing on your breathing. Notice the air flowing in and out. Feel your chest rise and fall. This simple act of focusing on your breath helps anchor you in the present moment, pulling your attention away from distractions and anxieties about past or future events. As you settle into this breathing rhythm, you'll notice thoughts and emotions beginning to cross your mind. Here's where the Stoic practice really comes into play. Observe these thoughts and emotions as if they were leaves floating down a stream or clouds passing in the sky. The key is not to latch onto them or push them away, but to simply notice them with detachment. This practice isn't about emptying your mind, but understanding that thoughts are temporary and do not define you. This method of observation teaches us an important stoic lesson. We have the power to choose our response to our thoughts and feelings. Just because a thought appears doesn't mean it needs to be acted upon. Similarly, emotions are natural, but they don't have to dictate our actions. By practicing mindfulness, you develop the ability to recognize your mental patterns without being overwhelmed by them, which is incredibly empowering. Moreover, this morning ritual of meditation reinforces another stoic principle, the differentiation between what we can control and what we cannot. While we can't control what thoughts or emotions arise, we have complete autonomy over how we engage with them. This realization fosters a profound inner peace, knowing that external circumstances are less disruptive to our mental state 
when we cultivate this kind of self-awareness. As you make mindfulness and meditation a regular part of your morning, you'll find that this state of centered calm doesn't just last for the moment, it extends throughout your day. You become more resilient to stress, more composed in the face of challenges, and more appreciative of the moment. It's a way of equipping yourself to meet the world not on its terms, but on yours, with a serene and balanced spirit. So, embrace this practice daily and watch how it transforms not just your mornings, but your entire approach to life. This isn't just about reading, it's about actively engaging with the thoughts and insights from some of the greatest minds of ancient philosophy like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus. These aren't just old texts, they're timeless guides that can help steer us through the complexities of modern life. When you start your day, take a moment to read a few lines from these Stoic masters. You might choose a passage from Meditations by Marcus Aurelius where he ponders on the nature of human existence and the importance of living a life aligned with virtue. Or perhaps a letter from Seneca, where he discusses how to face adversity with grace and resilience. The key here is not to rush through these readings, but to truly absorb the wisdom they offer. As you read, pause and reflect on how these teachings apply to your own life. For instance, Marcus Aurelius often talks about the importance of acting in accordance with nature and reason, not being swayed by petty concerns or fleeting emotions. How can you apply this as you make decisions today? Seneca's teachings on tranquility and the shortness of life might prompt you to reconsider what you prioritize daily. This practice of revisiting Stoic teachings is fundamentally about reflection and application. It's about seeing these ancient insights as living ideas, not historical relics. They are principles to be lived out, not just contemplated. Think about the challenges you might face today and how a Stoic would advise you to respond. This could mean practicing patience, showing kindness, standing firm against undue pressures, or simply embracing the day with a calm and clear mind. Engaging with Stoic philosophy each morning sets a tone of thoughtful deliberation for your day. It's about preparing your mind to handle whatever comes with a balanced perspective and ethical rigor. More than that, it's about cultivating a mindset that values growth, resilience and virtue over fleeting pleasures or easy outs. Each morning, this practice refreshes and reinforces your commitment to live not just any life, but a good life, one that's deeply rooted in wisdom and virtue. So let these teachings soak into your thoughts and actions and watch how they transform not only your approach to daily challenges, but also your overall sense of fulfillment and purpose. Amor Fati which translates to love of fate, is more than just accepting what happens to you. It's about embracing it with enthusiasm, whether it's joyous or challenging. It's a powerful mindset that transforms every situation into an opportunity for growth and personal affirmation. Amor Fati is about loving your life, every part of it, without exception. It's not about being passive or simply resigning yourself to circumstances but actively choosing to see the value in whatever comes your way. For instance, if you encounter a setback, instead of dwelling on the frustration or disappointment, you pivot your perspective to see it as a valuable lesson, a chance to strengthen your resilience or even to recalibrate your path forward. This habit of embracing everything enthusiastically is profoundly transformative. It encourages you not only to accept the inevitable ups and downs of life, but to actually value them as crucial components of your personal development. Every challenge becomes a moment to test your virtues, such as patience, perseverance and courage. Every joy becomes a moment to practice gratitude and humility. By starting your day with the intention to practice Amor Fati, you set a tone of unconditional positivity. 
Throughout the day, remind yourself of this commitment. When something goes not as planned, smile and welcome the unexpected change as an integral part of your adventure. When things go well, express gratitude and reflect on how even these moments are part of the ebb and flow of a life fully lived. Incorporating Amor Fati into your daily life isn't just about dealing better with difficulties. It's about creating a profound inner peace that comes from knowing you can handle and appreciate anything that life throws your way. This stoic habit encourages you to not just endure life, but to thrive in it, cherishing each moment as essential, meaningful and necessary. It's about building a life where you're not just surviving but thriving, finding joy and wisdom in the full spectrum of life's experiences. Thank you for joining me today on this journey through Stoic practices that can transform not just your mornings, but your entire approach to life. Remember, every day is a new page in your Stoic journal, a chance to write your own story with intention, wisdom and resilience. If you found these habits helpful, check out the suggested video on your screen to dive deeper into Stoicism and continue building a life of purpose and peace. Thank you for being a part of the Stoic Journal community. Until next time, embrace your path with courage and love every chapter of your life's journey.